Welcome back. And when we last left off, um, I wanted to show you how we put the braces on the um, mold for the aft bulkhead. So here you can see um, they were basically put on there at the end when we finished laying it up, a little bit of peel ply. And so the next thing we had to do was uh, cut some core out for that part because um, that whole bulkhead has different variations of core in there and some hard points as well for where the landing gear bolts into it. So just obviously just this, did this on the machine and as you can see that sped up and uh, here's it cutting out the hard point. So this is the FR4 which is sort of pretty much solid sort of fiberglass cutting out those hard points for where the landing gear um, bolts in to uh, the aft bulkhead. So again this is sped up it doesn't really run that fast but um, anyway got those done and there's all the different pieces laid out there and there's sort of different varying thicknesses of core there for what we need. Um, some because of the pressure up the top of the bulkhead and the others there where the landing gear uh, bolts in. So that was all done. And the next thing was uh, Mark was just uh, cleaning up the edges of that mold so it'd be re uh, ready to use. And he just uh, trimmed it off um, with a diamond uh, cutting wheel that we have and then just uh, sanded the edges with the belt sander so it's all nice and clean and no one's going to get hurt using that. In the meantime, here's the floor braces that got laid up um, on Friday. And so those were popped out of the mold. You can see a little rough around the edges there. So they just needed some trim work and, you know, they came out fine. Um, no real problems on those. You can see shiny side up there um, just coming straight out the mold. And so Jeff just runs those through the table saw and just trims off the rough edges and still leaves the flange that we need uh, for bonding into uh, the floor of the lower fuselage there so it doesn't take much um, with that um, blade that we have on the on the table saw to trim those off and meanwhile the guys are putting the uh, silicon rubber profile on this is the um, plug for the aft bulkhead that mates up with the keel which is a pressure bulkhead so they, they basically finished laying that one down so that's the next one that uh, we're creating the mold from And here they're doing the one for the actual uh, upper aft pressure bulkhead, which that's the one there that mates up with the one that you just saw. Sort of one is the lower uh, half and the other one is the upper half. And you'll see those pieces come together later. So next thing, uh, Jeff uh, was laying up the actual part for the aft bulkhead. And obviously on the time lapse here, uh, he's fast worker, but not quite that fast. <laughs> so anyway, this is um, laying up, I believe it was... Uh, two layers of heavy fabric um, and then the core went in and then two more layers of the heavy fabric so this is the first layer going down and just you know resin being put in there and then uh, putting in the little sort of small piece there again you know when we're laying these parts we lay the fabric on a 45 degree angle there which you know um, means that the ply is running in the right direction so here's the second layer going down. And again, it's important that we sort of get the fabric sort of lined up carefully and it's not being stretched in one direction uh, or another. And then the next thing is to make sure that it's wet down just the right amount. You don't want it too dry or too wet. And of course, you've got to work all the edges there and dart the corners and make sure, uh, you know, it's covered nicely. And so that's basically the first two layers going down. And then the next thing is uh, for the core to be laid in place. So here you can see the various pieces being put in there and actually end up fitting fairly snug. We had to do a little bit of trim work on those just because of how tight it was in there, but they went in nicely. And you see the hard points there for the landing gear went in the bottom corner on the left there, little, little green FR4. And then uh, two more layers of the heavy um, carbon fiber fabric go in there and everything sort of wet wet down and trimmed off and smoothed out and and then ultimately uh, you know we obviously put it under the vacuum uh, bag there but so there's the second layer going down getting trimmed off and uh, didn't take too long to do this one I think it was two and a half hours in total and there's the peel ply going down that just sort of has to be laid in there again and then the the perforated breather 
uh, plastic. And finally, the breather fabric that absorbs any excess resin. And uh, moved it onto the other table, which was clean. And put the, um, the vacuum bag on there. And hooked it up. And made sure everything was going to sit nicely. And then there's the vacuum come on and, and hold it in. So there's the finished product there. Didn't have any problems with that. In fact, uh, that vacuum bag sealed really well and we're getting really good vacuum pressure on there. Barely any sort of leak at all coming out of that. It took a while um, for the vacuum system to fire back on again. Um, you, see, you always get like a, a bit of a minor leak out of somewhere. Um, but this was like one of the best ones that we've done in terms of uh, how little it was leaking. And there you can see the vacuum system pulling about 23 and a half PSI. So here's the uh, bulkhead actually popped out. This was this morning, not trimmed off yet. So today the guys, well, all of us basically got on this uh, lower bulkhead that meets up with the keel. And this is really sped up now. <laughs> so put down the black coat. And of course, we're creating the mold there. And that was the first go around of the black coat. And here we've already done the second one. And, and we're... Um, putting the um, the cabosil mix on the flange air and then obviously laying down the first layer of um, fiberglass, the thin layer there. And it goes pretty quick when it's sped up like this. <laughs> so that's the first layer down. And then here we come in with the um, first layer of uh, carbon fiber, which is the lightweight one. There that goes down. And so this was, again, one layer of light fiberglass, two layers of light carbon fiber, and four layers of uh, the heavy carbon fiber. So the next thing, and there's the second layer of uh, lightweight carbon fiber coming in. And you see our new uh, summer hire or team member um, has joined us starting yesterday. His name is Keith, and uh, I think he's going to work out well for us fitting in pretty nicely so far. And so there's the first layer of uh, heavy going down. I believe that was the first one. It might have been the second one. Uh, anyway, so we put down the four layers there, and we only had a little bit of peel ply uh, that we had to do that. And there's the next layer going down. And this actually went really easy because that um, heavyweight carbon fiber just lays down so nicely, just sort of spreads out and conforms over all sorts of different things. It doesn't take too much to finish it off. So I think that was the third, or maybe that was the fourth layer. I think that was the fourth layer going down there. And finally, just a little bit of peel ply on the tunnel there where it meets up with the keel, and we're done on that mold. So there you can see that's going down. And here's the finished product. So that came out nicely, and that'll cure overnight and probably uh, be ready to be released from the plug tomorrow. And lastly, here's a look at how things are starting to come together. So here's the lower fuselage with the floor braces in place and the forward bulkhead that we laid up there a week ago. And so you can see how everything's sort of starting to fit together. The floor braces there were made up with the door frames that are still to come, but you can see the cutouts there where the doors are going to be. And uh, next up, here's the uh, aft bulkhead in place as well. So now you can kind of really see the full width of what the cabin's going to be like. Uh, anyway, it's getting exciting. Things are starting to come together. So that's our update for the first half of this week. Thanks again for watching.